Welcome back, everybody. Here we go with another update before the update. This is something that obviously just showed up on the forums a little while ago where Joe kind of came out and said, okay, here we go. I got to brief you guys before tomorrow's update. So let's talk a little bit about what it's going to be. And as of obviously right now, my opinion on the beta, and we'll talk about it more in depth. All right, so let's read through, shall we? So of course, this is not an update. This is more of like an actual like overall update, like as in like their personal update on it. Like, so not an update on the game, just like their update on the topic of the update. <laughs> okay, so hopefully you understood what I meant there. Anyways, hey everybody. First, I just want to thank everyone for their feedback and conversations regarding the next update. Taking root, quotations, it's been very helpful and we appreciate all the time and effort involved in providing your thoughts and ideas. I'm trying to keep this as brief as I can because there's still a lot of to get ready for tomorrow. I just wanted to take a minute to acknowledge the concerns people have expressed for the next update and let you know that while that we're cons uh, considered like delaying the update, we actually started moving forward with this idea that we were going to delay it. We had to keep as planned on because it would just cause major issues for console players. We decided rather than inconvenience players with a delay, I would provide some more information to clarify some things. The content in taking root is too narrow in focus and without the updates that follows, uh, bracket more info on that in a minute players not only can't see the bigger picture but they really don't benefit from the update as intended yet either this means realistically the update is just kind of meh without an understanding of what is to come first and, and most importantly when the update arrives tomorrow there will be a new mechanic in place that will only allow the rifts to begin under a very specific condition that players must directly trigger after defeating the celestial champion so you won't need to worry about those rifts messing up your base until you're ready for it which brings me to my next point the update following the taken route will focus on a shadow equivalent of these rifts as we have been hinting at there is an equal and opposing force uh, that is intended to conflict with the lunar rifts, and they are each intended to counteract with each other. As we said previously, players are going to want to choose one side or the other, and with only one side available, it's going to be confusing and weird. Additionally, Taken Root had a pretty big high tech cost. There was a lot of time and effort into setting things up for the set of three updates in the new From Beyond arc, so overall there's a bit less content to bite into than you would have hoped for. It's been a while since the beta uh, when we were often delivering partial content, so it's a bit unfamiliar territory for a lot of you. We should have just waited until we could deliver a more cohesive experience and worried less about hit hitting the monthly goal. The roadmap was written with the idea of following the same uh, cadence as we had in the past, and perhaps we should review up date timing again we still think this update is pretty cool it's just a bit of a missed opportunity to not have these two updates released together with that being said we're going to do a small reveal tomorrow with a teaser image that i think you'll love additionally Vito uh, and jason are going to be on the stream tomorrow to take to talk a little bit about what's in store but without too many spoilers of course thanks everyone once again we're very sorry for any confusion here and we're excited to get this update to you we think the arc is going to be great and we hope you think so too Okay, so let's break this down. Well, here's the reason why obviously they are mentioning this is because people were concerned that obviously their bases when it goes to the live branch are going to get demolished, which if you've killed the Celestial Champion is, oh, well, it's a possibility. I mean, we've seen it happen, right? So they are basically coming out and saying, look, we know that this is coming out. And unfortunately, if you've already defeated the Celestial Champion, you might have to disable this if you don't want it to happen. But the cool thing is it looks like we're going to be able to choose the good side or the bad side, or maybe the bad side and the bad side. We don't really know. Nonetheless, something is going to happen. And it looks like either which way with the rifts or the shadow rifts, whatever they end up calling themselves, are going to interact with each other probably in a way that's obviously going to maybe help one another. I don't really know yet. As in help, sorry, if you're on the side of the shadows, it'll help you. If you're on the shadow, uh, side of the rifts, then you know you can fight against the shadows and players will be get, get to choose, which is pretty awesome. So multiple people in the same world, I'm guessing could choose different sides. I don't know. I, I'm thinking that's the way it's going to go. Um, anyways, the overall thing is that they just don't want people to assume that this is going to be the final update until obviously, you know, 
the said other updates come out. So their hope was that they're going to release two at the same time to basically make more sense. I love the update so far. I think it's great. I think it's easy to understand that this is the one of three and it's pretty simple to realize that this is just a start. And I think that if they would have done two at the same time, it might've been a little overwhelming and people would have just been like, wow, this is a lot to kind of take in. I really got to prepare, but now you can understand, okay, maybe I need to turn this off or maybe I do want to play with it or whatever. I mean, I've been playing with the beta for a while. I haven't had any issues. Mind you, I obviously play in the beta, which, which I don't have a world that is um, officially kill the Celestial Champion because I usually, when I do kill the CC, we generally restart our world anyways. So the last time I killed the CC was maybe a few weeks ago or something like that, and our world restart reset. So now here we are again. So anyways, for somebody that's doing a mega base, I probably would advise not turning on unless you want your base to maybe get destroyed um, or at least make a backup of your base or something, or maybe just start a new world while you're doing this. Honestly, like, you know, not a huge deal to just mess around with it for now. But nonetheless, the update is pretty awesome. I think it's really cool that they're going to dive a little deeper into more stuff for us to give us like a little bit more things with a picture. And then, of course, they're going to be on the stream on Thursday, aka tomorrow, with the, some of the creators um, of DST so we can get some more information on that and nonetheless i'm kind of happy that they did what they did i don't want them to go through the process of having us wait around and wait around and wait around for stuff on the roadmap because a lot of people were very eager to actually get something you know in hand and it's nice that they're going to be doing that so i mean i'm sure we'll get a lot of different things happening and all that but nonetheless um this is what's coming out tomorrow. So get ready. Um, and I think it's going to be pretty awesome. Um, so let's give a huge round of applause for Clay because they've been doing a great job. And I know they're a little concerned about this update, but I think it's going to be fine. I don't think it's going to cause any issues. And it's very nice of them to come out and say straight up like, hey, just get ready and be careful because, you know, we know it's one of three updates. So we would rather have released two at the same time, but it would have delayed it quite a lot. And people would have been like, where's the update? Where's the update? Where's the update? So for me, it worked out fine, um, but of course, you let me know down in the comments what you think. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.